Hello students, You're welcome once again to our instructional video series and today we'll be looking at soil organic matter and soil organisms. We'll be considering soil organic matter uh, <coughs> sources, composition, decomposition and even mineralization of soil organic matter and we'll also be looking at the role of microorganisms in the transformation of organic matter in the soil. Also, the factors affecting this decomposition of organic matter will be looked at. So once again, I want to welcome you. I am your facilitator, Dr. Nathaniel Lopassi. You are welcome. Yeah, I want to welcome you to another interesting moment in this our instructional video series. Once again, I'm Dr. Nathaniel Obasi. Uh, introduction. Uh, organic matter or soil organic matter is the organic component of the soil. It consists all parts of living and dead plants and animals, uh, micro and macro organisms and products of decaying processes that occur in the soil. The dark coloration of certain soil is attributed to the presence of organic matter because Dark colored colloidal humus compounds are able to coat mineral particles of soil. Hence, the, dark, the darker the soil, the more organic matter it is likely to contain. In addition to clay minerals in the soil, organic matter is a major source of plant nutrient elements. Organic matter also contributes to soil water holding capacity, aggregate stability, permeability, and other considerable soil properties. This unit will discuss soil organic matter, its importance, uh, its importance, maintenance, as well as the role played by microorganisms in the transformation of soil organic matter. What are the sources of organic matter? There are two main sources of uh, organic matter in soil. Plant, plant sources are the most prevalent and important. Uh, these plant sources include dead and decayed plant roots, leaf droppings, crop residues, green manures, and dead and decayed above ground part of plant. Animal sources form the next most important source of soil organic matter. They include all residues of animals and microorganisms, uh, domestic wastes, animal feces, animal feeds, and animal manure. So the contribution of animal, uh, animal waste in terms of nutrient supply depends primarily on the species of the animal, whether ruminant or non-ruminant. So the type and part of plants consumed and the age of animal as well as the plant. What are the composition of uh, organic matter? About 75% of green tissue is made up of water while 90% of the remaining dry matter is made up of carbon, oxygen, and uh, hydrogen. So nitrogen and other mineral elements constitute the remaining or remainder of organic matter. So the major sources of soil organic matter, which is plant tissue, is made up of very complex substances such as carbohydrates, which include sugar, starch, hemicellulose, cellulose, pectiles, and musculages, lignin, proteins, soluble protein and crude protein, fats, oil, waxes, tannin, resins, pigment and organic mineral compounds. So the largest percentage of soil organic matter is made up of lignins and proteins. Lignin builds up as the plant ages and it is uh, resistant to decomposition. Uh, now, decomposition of organic matter. The composition of organic matter is a, uh, in the soil involves the breakdown of complex organic compounds to simpler ones by the activities of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, actinomycetes, algae, and protozoa, etc. Nutrients and uh, energy are made available to the microorganisms during the process of organic matter decomposition. So the benefit of organic matter as a source 
of plant nutrients and as uh, soil condition and lies primarily on its decomposition. This is for an organic material to be useful, it has to be decomposed. That is, the organic material will be broken down into its constituent elements. Mineralization of organic matter. Uh, this is the process involved in the release of plant nutrients from organic matter. Most of the soil nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur are present in the organic forms which are only converted to the mineral form, utilizable by plants through the mineralization process. So mineralization of organic matter to release nutrient, uh, mineral nutrients is of two steps uh, processes. Uh, namely, uh, mineralization, which is the decomposition of organic matter by heterotrophic bacteria, release amino acids and amide. Whereas, aminization is followed by ammonification, which is the release of ammonium ion from amino acids and amides. What are the rules of uh, microorganisms in organic matter transformation? Uh, they act in conversion of ammonium to nitrate, uh, nitrate nitrogen. Ammonium is first converted to nitrite, as uh, we see in the equation. Uh, above, uh, with the activity of nitrosomonas bacteria, a group of obligate autotrophs, which have as their sources of energy, the oxidation of simple molecular substances such as uh, ammonium uh, plus uh, nitrate or nitrite is then rapidly converted to nitrate through further oxidation by another group of obligate autotrophs, nitrobacter, as followed here in the equation. Conclusion, plant and animal remains such as crop residue, animal and green manures, compost, falling leaves and forest litter make up soil organic matter. Its decomposition is carried out by microorganisms leading to the release of plant nutrient. Several environmental uh, conditions could either enhance or slow down rate of decomposition. So we must adopt farming practice that could help to maintain reasonably high level of organic matter content of our agricultural soils. Thank you.